the jack-o'-lantern a toxic look-alike for two edible mushrooms chanterelles and chicken of the woods i don't know about that hey if you're interested stick around okay what we have here are massive jack-o'-lanterns and actually from a distance i really did think this was chicken of the woods just because of the size it's it just it's enormous and the fan that i saw you know from a distance it really looked like chicken of the woods but let's let's go ahead and pull this guy i mean he's huge but you can see clearly has gills it's no chicken of the woods it's got a big old stem on it it's not a polypore mushroom even though it has some of the same color um you know that's just not it and uh you know it's not going to kill you it's not poisonous to the touch uh, but if you did eat something like this you, you probably would wish you were dead but um it's not chicken of the woods plus you know it's kind of growing on a stump uh, and you can find them on stumps uh, most of the time though it's coming straight out of the ground uh, chicken of the woods uh, um, the sulfurous variety is definitely going to grow right out of the tree right out of the side of its stump and the Cincinnatus variety is going to look like it's growing out of the ground. However, it's going to be coming out of either a root system or a buried, you know, a buried log or stem or some type of wood. It's going to be growing out of wood. Now, maybe you can confuse it from a distance like I did, but up close, I don't think so. Now let's compare the jack-o'-lantern to the chanterelle. If you look at this guy and could imagine it being a lot smaller, you know, in its, in its younger um, stage, you might even be able to confuse it with a chanterelle. Um, but again, if we flip it over and we take a look, you can clearly see this has gills in it and they're not false gills like a chanterelle. So uh, it's, also, it's uh, gonna be kind of hard to confuse it. And if you don't cut it in half to see what color it is, that's probably the easiest way to tell the difference between a jack-o'-lantern and a chanterelle. Once you cut it in half, that jack-o'-lantern is going to be all orange on the inside. It may have some little white seams coming through it, but it's the body of it's going to be primarily orange. And the chanterelle is going to be all white. Anyway, I thought I'd show you those differences. Pretty cool. Massive jack-o'-lanterns though huge hey if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one i've left a few right here also please don't forget to subscribe appreciate you spending your time with me i really do i gotta go see you later bye